Welcome guys. So today's video, I thought I'd show you what I meal prep for work. So I work Monday to Friday. I, I've been terrible over the years with food. Just eating crap, going to Tesco's in the morning. It's just adding to the bill. Do you know what I mean? And you get crap and you buy biscuits and anything. So what I did, I went on a diet plan before um, we went to Florida and I'm not on that plan anymore because I love food too much. But what I did, I, I incorporated the breakfast and the, um, the what we call it, the dinner. And uh, yeah, and now I've incorporated that. I'm obviously, I'm eating a lot better when in work. And that was the plan. So now breakfast, I have no issues with breakfast and dinner. And that gets me through to tea. I have whatever I want for tea. I only prep for four days because I try to give myself a, a treat. Then on the Friday, it might be a breakfast from the works canteen or I might go to Tesco's and get something I don't usually have. But as long as I'm prepped for those four days, it's really, really good. So I'm not going to take you through the process because the food is quite simple like the breakfast is scrambled egg i'm not going to show the scrambled egg i'd like to think you can scramble an egg but what i'll do is i'll show you what i do because one is scrambled egg one is scrambled egg with oats so i'll show you what what i have i'll show you what i do for dinner i have snacks in between just to keep me my hunger levels <coughs> better so yeah so hopefully you'll find this video interesting it may it may help you I don't know, who knows? But yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so we're starting with dinner. So what I do is I buy lean beef steak mince. Simple as that. Wraps, tortilla wraps. I usually have white ones, but I ended up with white and uh, wheat and white. I think that was my mistake in the Tesco shop. Normal black peppercorn, pink salt. That was off the diet and then garlic too lazy to chop up a garlic honest to god that's how that's how hard i found prepping for work so um yeah let's get to it so these are my meal prep um boxes. these were from amazon they were I think, 20 quid 20 quid for 10 but these have been brilliant so far microwavable as well so amazing so I um, was in charge of ordering my stuff and I realized I have 500 grams of beef mince usually and that covers the week. I've only ordered 250, but luckily I ordered two, one for the week after, but 500 grams is the right amount of mince to put in because you're going to split it into four. Ooh. I don't know what that means, you're going to split it into four. So yeah, 500 grams of mince. Don't make me do the shopping. So no oil, no oil with this. Medium heat. Pop the mince in. I then pop the a bit of pepper, a bit of salt, a little bit of garlic, and literally just cook your mince. It's as simple as that. It's not just that I have on its own. Don't worry about that. But I'll cook the mince. Then I'll come back to you and show you what I do. As usually with me, there's a crisis. It's not a crisis. Our fr our free a fridge is mental. So one set of beef is frozen in the fridge, and the other set isn't. I've had to have two pans out now. Two pans. Can you believe it? <sighs> two pans now. So I've got the frozen one cooking slowly, and then I got the other one for the other one. So my diet when I was losing weight was these these two different uh, breakfasts, a scrambled egg on different days. Uh, but the dinner time was the mince that I'm cooking now with wild wild basat, basma, basmati rice and then uh, like peppers or broccoli, asparagus, you, know, you name it. And that was the dinner. 
and then on a, on the other day then it was piece of chicken rice and then the veg i lost 30 pounds just before we went to florida i was so impressed with it but it was hard it was three months of absolute boredom of food but i was impressed by the amount I, I i lost i shouldn't put that back on because that's taken a number of years I, you know i don't drink as much now either which is good so i should keep it lightweight but i've kept the mince going because what i make and like when i've cooked it and i show you it's really tasty you won't believe it when i tell you what it is because you'll be like Bleh. but it, it really really is but it is this is literally my 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 lunch all week i hate lunch breakfast and tea i adore i hate lunch hate lunch it's so boring you, you can't have something big or tasty it's just boring and this is the best that i've got so i'm just waiting for the mince to cook and then i'll be back look at the difference so this on the right is the one that was frozen and then the one on the left isn't frozen total schoolboy error i just don't know why the freezer, uh, the fridge, sorry, freezes, but it didn't freeze that one. It only froze that one. Why didn't you not freeze them both and keep them both the same? <sighs> Literally, all it is, the next step is splitting that into two, that into two, and then they go into there. Simple as that. That is it. That's all I do with the mints. Now, what I do then is I take one wrap into work. I put my... One that I take to work into the microwave for a minute. I then put the mince into the middle there. I've got a Heinz burger sauce that I got from Tesco's. <laughs> Squidge it on the top and then I turn it into a burrito. Simple as that. Now you may think that is, oh, that, it doesn't work. It's, it's all right. It, it does my dinner for me. And that's what, that was the aim was to have something that I would eat. The burger sauce makes it tasty. It is healthy. The burger sauce probably wipes it out a little bit, but not enough, I don't think. I don't think there's enough crap in it. You know, and I don't have huge amounts. And that is literally my dinner burrito. I have that four times a week on a Friday then. I might have, I don't know, it depends my mood in the morning. But it works. It really does work, guys. One minute in the microwave, put it inside the wrap, and then add the, the burger sauce. Jobs are good enough. I'll show you, I'll, I'll, I'll put them in the trays, I'll show you what it looks like, you know what it's going to look like anyway, but I'll do that. Then I'll show you what I eat through the day for snacks. So shock horror guys, that's what the, the meal trays look like. Like I said, for the sauce, you could literally add anything you wanted. Mayonnaise, I suppose, barbecue sauce, anything. Anything just to make the, the lack of flavour in the mince taste of something I, I love the burger sauce it's heinz it's really really good but you could literally have anything on it does me a job if you try it and you end up liking it i've done good i've done good so what i'll do now is i'll show you my through the day snacks so i usually have my breakfast probably around the eight o'clock mark i start work at six but then by the time i've done the handover then i get up to my office it's usually about eight o'clock when I get there. I have my breakfast. I usually try and aim for, for my dinner about one. So it's like, you know, it's like four, four or five hours in between. So what I usually have is sweet chili rice crackers. Now there's four, four rows in here. What I usually do is I have two, two rows. You probably shouldn't. They're 160 calories. But it bridges the gap between breakfast and dinner. And that is really, really important. They are lush. One tip, they'll always have a drink with you. Because uh, they're chilly. They're sweet chilly. I find them a little bit hot. Some people will say, I'm, I'm weak. You're weak, Eldridge. But I don't really mind. When I've had my dinner about one, I finish work at four. Usually about three o'clock. It might be on a bit of a dip getting ready to go home so what i have is salted caramel rice cakes now on my diet you had to have i was told you had to have the dark chocolate only but obviously i wanted to try some more these are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and i had two of them bridges the gap for me to get home usually hang on then for tea at six o'clock 
if I want something and I don't want the rice cakes, I have these skinny whips. Skinny whips, that's a toffee one. I'm currently going through an orange one at the moment. These are lush. These are 80 calories, but they're, they're nice. They're, they're nice. They're not lush. I said lush, I shouldn't have. They're nice. They, they, they do a gap, and like I said, it usually bridges that between going home. So yeah, so that's my snacks. You've seen my, my, my food. What I will do now is I will cook and I will show you what I have for the breakfast. So I'll do the scrambled egg first. Absolutely pointless going heavily into that. Three eggs, scramble them, salt and pepper. That's all I do. That'll be tomorrow's for Tuesday. I say that, that's Mondays, because I don't know when this video is going out. So Monday is that, Wednesday is scrambled egg and sometimes Friday. Tuesday and Thursday is where I have the um, scrambled egg and oats. So what I will do is I won't show you the scrambled egg because scrambled egg, scrambled egg, that's absolutely pointless. But I'll show you what I do and what ingredients are involved in the scrambled egg and oats. Now I was worried when I was told to do that because I was like, that's not gonna work. Oats is porridge. Did it, never look back. I literally now will have it, whatever. Even if I'm not on a diet and I go to like 90, 900 million stone, I will still eat it. It's really, really nice. And people give me funny looks when I when I say, oh, it's, it's scrambled egg and oats. But, but the taste is absolutely fantastic, guys. So when I'm making them, I'll show you what I'm doing. Now, one side thing I will say is when I have the scrambled egg and oats, I sometimes I don't need the rice cake because it, it fills me up more than the scrambled egg does. So that is something to be aware of. The oats and, and scrambled egg fill you up really, really well. And sometimes I don't have those rice crackers or rice cakes between breakfast and dinner. So you might be surprised if you do this and you, the oats actually fill you up. At least you've got them just in case you need them. But yeah, but when I have the scrambled egg on its own, it fills me up for a couple of hours, but that's when I need the rice cakes and stuff like that. Just a little tip. Now the scrambled egg, sorry, now the scrambled egg when I was on the diet wasn't just scrambled egg. So you included kale um i think you included tomatoes do you know what i mean there was a mixture of stuff in there i'm not too hyped on kale and tomatoes i ate it when i was on the diet it worked i can't argue with it but to be bitterly honest with you I, I try to keep it now just to the scrambled egg i've got those extras i enjoy scrambled egg you could add bread Bread's one of the big things that I, I took out of my diet. So I think that helped. Like I only, only have the tortilla wraps nowadays. Anyway, so I think bread has been a bit of a, a beast to me because I used to have toast and then sandwiches and then maybe garlic bread for tea and then you start again and, you know, rolls, loads of rolls. So yeah, so bread's been a big thing for me. But scrambled egg does me. I know I got my rice cakes or my my um rice crackers so crackers rice crackers water water guys so you saw it if you if you watch the florida i got a corsicle bottle and a walt disney one you gotta drink the water i do drink more water in work than i do at home because i'm just a beast for coffee at home and work anyway yeah but get the water down you so what we're going to do now is we're going to make the scrambled egg and oats i'll take you through that one so guys, here we are now, gonna make the scrambled egg and oats. So obviously, first in, three eggs, three eggs. That goes in there, that goes in there. What's the most important thing with that now? Is wash your hands. Always wash your hands after dealing with eggs. So the eggs go in there. So I've got this. This is uh, rolled oats from my protein. Doesn't need to be though. I think I overpaid. You could just have normal oats. So literally one cup of rolled oats. In it goes with the egg. And just to give it a little bit of flavour, 
peanut butter, simple smooth peanut butter, just a spoonful. I haven't got much left. A spoonful of butter. In that goes. Not well. It's not easy getting the uh, the peanut butter in. Not gonna lie. You can watch me struggle. But get in as much as you possibly can. That'll do. And then, obviously, stir that bar for you. So obviously, unlike when you whisk your eggs, there's a lot more work to this. It's a lot more tiring. If you're just doing so you know the peanut butter's in. It's all the oats are in there, the eggs done. Jobs are good then. What we're doing now is we're heating it up. I have this tiny little spatula, little pad. It's meant to be for my child, but I use it more than anyone else. When that's hot, we're then gonna pop in our mixture. So that's nice and hot, so here we go. In it goes, it looks an absolute mess. I can see the peanut butter in there, which is what we want. And then this one takes a little bit longer than scrambled eggs. So it's just mixing it up. You gotta be careful with this one because it does go into like an omelette state. So that's why I try to just keep going and going. There you have it guys, this is the weird eggs and um, eggs and oats, what do you reckon? It does look bizarre, I totally get it, but it is tasty, it is well tasty. Now what I will do with the um, oats and egg is when it cools down and I put it in the fridge, I'll add blueberries to it. Now you can add any fruit you want, but it, it batters off like the oat side. That light in my eye, it batters off the, the oat side. So you can add fruit to it as well. I, I add blueberries, quite like it. And it's really tasty and it works for me. It's absolutely fantastic. I love saying fantastic. I noticed that through the Florida videos. Um, I only make two and then Tuesday night, I'll make the next two. I don't like putting the eggs into there. It's a great, it's a great fridge. It's a great freezer, but I don't know why your your free your, your fridge is freezing everything. But no, before you ask the settings, and not on freeze. It's not too high. We've done all that. So there you've seen scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs and oats, mints, tortillas, rice crackers, rice cakes, all ready for my weekend work pretty much, and then Friday I might have a treat. Or Thursday, I might decide to make the breakfast and make the dinner. Doesn't really matter. And that is it, guys. That is my weekly meal prep. Hopefully, I've helped someone. Who knows? You never know on this on YouTube whether you help people or not. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's not the most exciting vlog I've ever done. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Whatever you're doing, have a lovely day, have a lovely morning, have a lovely afternoon, have a lovely evening. And we shall see you very soon.